Hello, my topic for today's presentation is colonization of Mars. First, I would like to go over the past space missions to Mars that was done by NASA. NASA has launched several spacecrafts and rovers over the years. The first spacecraft to reach Mars was Mariner 4 which was launched in 1964 by NASA. It provided 22 images of Mars surface in a flyby mode. Uh, later, Mariner 6 and 7 spacecrafts were launched in 1969. Uh, it, it found uh, that Martian atmosphere consisted mostly of carbon dioxide. It also provided 201 images, which gave us, which mapped 20% of Mars surface. Later in the year 1971, Mariner 9, 9 was launched, which provided us with 7,000 pictures and mapped 85% 85, 85 of Mars surface. Uh, after that, Viking 1 and 2 were launched in 1975. These space probes were the first human-made in invention to be able to land on Mars' surface. It recorded Mars' climate and collected samples of Mars' soil. Um, after that, Sojourner Rovers was launched in 1997. It was the first wheeled vehicle to rove on the planet and was part of the Mars Pathfinder mission. It provided evidence of uh, Mars atmospheric pressure, temperature, and wind speed. Uh, as you can see in this picture, Spirit and Opportunity rover. Um, it was launched in 2003 and transmitted about 342,000 images combined. It provided uh, they provided human scale view of what it would be like to to be on Mars. In the year 2011, Curiosity rovers was launched by NASA. This was the first rover to drill into the rocks and collect samples of various compounds of life forming chemical ingredients that were present on Mars. Then, uh, recently in the year 2020. 20 Perseverance rovers uh, was launched by NASA and is expected to reach Mars by uh, February 20, 20, 2021. It will investigate signs of Asian life and gather, gather other data that are required for uh, Mars colonization. So it is important to ask why Mars and not other planets? If we look, if we compare Mars to that of Earth, it is very much similar than compared to other planets. It is 142 million miles away from the Sun. The day is about the same as that of Earth. It is the year is twice as much as longer, but the orbiting uh, speed is almost the same as that of Earth. Unfortunately, uh, the gravity is very much less compared to that of Earth. And it is freezingly cold temperature, average temperature reading to minus 81 degree Fahrenheit. And it has no atmosphere and it is mostly the atmosphere mostly consists of carbon dioxide. As a species, we must uh, we, we, we may have to answer many ethical questions, like why not use trillions of dollars uh, that are being spent on space technology to work out solutions for climate change, world hunger, freshwater depletion, depletion, deforestation, air and water, water pollution. Um, much research has shown that it's very, it's nearly impossible to find a planet like Earth. Like Earth. 
So is it wise to destroy Earth in the hopes of bare minimum settlements on other planets? Even if we choose to uh, colonize Mars, it is we are faced with a lot of challenges like it's not known breathable air, not enough resources to survive, thin atmosphere, frozen water, hydration issues, low sunlight, dust storm, high cost of travels. Uh, well, there are some possible solutions for colonization. Terraforming Mars, building Mars domes, building centrifuge cities. Before we can uh, colonize any other planet, it is important that we colonize our moon. It is important that we set up a moon base where uh, we can, where rockets can refuel. NASA program aims to establish a moon base and extract the water, uh, ice water present on the moon to convert it into rocket fuel. Terraforming Mars uh, To terraform Mars, we must somehow be able to change the Mars atmosphere to make it that similar to that of our blue planet, which is ver a very challenging job. Building atmospheric pressure with nitrogen uh, on Mars. Uh, hypothetically, if we can uh, shoot comets and asteroids to Mars and extract the materials from the comets, we might be able to produce carbon dioxide water and to, cr to generate an artificial atmosphere. Uh, but with uh, we would even if we were able to generate an artificial atmosphere, we would need to generate um, some kind of external magnetic shield uh, to be able to protect our atmosphere from harmful radiation. There are other suggestions that have been made for terraforming Mars, uh, which includes. Uh, include albedo reduction techniques, uh, releasing chlorofluorocarbons to trigger global warming on Mars, and releasing fluorine compounds to make it greenhouse gas friendly to generate uh, to terraform Mars. Is it possible to restore Mars atmosphere? Unfortunately, with our current technology, it's impossible to restore Mars atmosphere. But James Green, director of NASA Planetary Science Division, thinks that with, uh, with future technology, it might be one day possible. Another option is uh, Mars domes. Mars domes are small dome-like structure built on Mars to protect from cosmic radiation. We need to be able to generate food and water inside those domes and need to be able to and and need to be powered by nuclear or solar powers. Some Mars domes have been already been uh, been prized by NASA. Marsha is one popular of those domes. It is 3D 3D printed beacon and bunker and is constructed of basalt compound which is found all across Mars. It is effective against shielding against high radiation and designed to have multiple floors with multiple windows. Uh, another MIT team have pro proposed a, uh, a dome, dome structure which has underground tunnels. On, on the surface, uh, they plan to cultivate rainforest uh, trees to protect from radiation and plant to live underground in those tunnels. Uh, UAE also has their plans of colonization of Mars. Uh, firstly, they plan to use the sand uh, to construct domes on Earth and try to simulate life 
or stimulate uh, what it would be like to live on Mars. Uh, they plan to make a, make a space museum in this project. Other, sun, uh, other, other solutions for colonization include centrifuge cities. This is human-made art architecture that rotates and induces artificial gravity. This idea was first proposed by O'Neill, and uh, in his in their plan, they 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 plan to create artificial climate inside big tube-like structures, and these tubes are a few thousand miles long. They plan to build cities inside these, these architecture where humans can live. SpaceX has their own plans for colonization. Their main goal is to, uh, to create a reusable rocket technology to Mars. Um, Rockets are primarily made. Their rockets are primarily made of, of carbon fiber, and their plan is to refill their uh, rockets while they are in orbit. And they plan to extract the materials on Mars and uh, use that as a rocket fuel to commute from Earth to Mars, and vice versa. Uh, role of robots in space colonization. I think. In, in my opinion, it is important that we uh, develop uh, ro uh, robots that can take places of astronauts and, and researchers. Since humans are well, very fragile creatures, it is important that uh, robots take the high risks that humans cannot uh, take. Uh, since humans require a lot of resources and are fragile in harsh condition, uh, we have already a lot of spacecraft which have done a great job of space exploration. So with development in AI, someday it might be possible to replace astro astronauts with robots uh, that can colonize planets for us. Use of aerogel for colonization of Mars. In a paper in Natural Astronomy, researchers found that materials called aerogel can be very helpful to build greenhouse and other habitable, uh, habitable, uh, other habitats at Mars. Aerogel is 99% of air, 9% 9, 9 air material that retains heat. It can be used, uh, uh, researchers found that this material is going to be very helpful if we choose to grow crops someday on Mars. It can be used to raise enough temperature that will help with melting water ice on Mars surface. Conclusion I think uh, it is important that we um, colonize Mars because Making humans a multi-planetary species is definitely going to be a step ahead in our space race. Uh, th it is one way we can bring our entire planet into the digital age and bring unity among nations. Uh, it is also a best strategy for ensuring the survival of the life forms of our planet from going extinct. Space exploration also helps us solve some of the greatest problems humans have ever faced. Space technology is an important tool to address certain short-term and long-term issues. I think in the long run, if we can colonize Mars, this will be a beacon of hope for future generation for colonizing other planets uh, in our universe. After all, we have a lot of time and space to explore, and perhaps this is the way to create a better future for our species.